Good morning, happy Sunday, and welcome to my live, my uh, episode 111, and we're doing Dahlia Days today. Uh, what do I have to tell you? The, the sale is still going on. The, um, the last chance is still going on until May 2nd, so you might want to check that out. Um, uh, what else did I want to tell you? Yes, um, this little mini class that I do every Sunday, you can get the pieces you need to make the cards I'm about to make by placing an order with me of $25 of product. And then I would send that to you for free and you would be able to make the cards. So, um, let me point you down and change my glasses instead of trying to craft with the, with the glasses on. And I've got some stuff to show you as well. It's pretty exciting. So, let me just... And in case anyone sees what I'm wearing on the bottom half, as I do this um, manoeuvre. Oh, I forgot to point you down, didn't I? There you go. Yes, I am wearing pyjamas on the bottom half. Uh, it needs to go a bit more that way, I think. Okay. Yep, I think we're good. So, I've got seven people today. Oh, yes. Um, I was um, checking out a means of stopping uh, the um, ink pads being all kind of bubbly that I had read about, and I was testing it, and I, I decided it would be really cool to uh, match my, my hands to my shirt, which is pink, um, well, no, I was just an idiot and didn't put any uh, gloves on, but um, I assume it will come off eventually, but, you know, it's kind of chic. It matches my watch, you know. I just thought I'd, uh, yeah, so. So if, if this works, I'll share this method with you, but you'd better get some gloves. <laughs> okay, so I've got Barbara, Winnie, Diana, Kim, Judy, Kathy, and Linda. So I had to get my eight-sided die out. So it's Kim. Breaking Kathy's streak. So let me put that over there. And this is the new annual catalogue, which I can't show you any of, apart from the front cover, until we are allowed to... Um, to order from it which would be made the second unless you're a demo and then you get it I've already been able to order and I'm allowed to show you things that I got so in case you're not demos and you haven't seen it I'm not sure haven't seen the new colors I'm going to show them to you so this is Tahitian Tide it's a bit like um, Templing Turquoise but maybe not quite so brassy. This is the least of, of my favourites. Then there's, this is Parakeet Party, which is a little reminiscent of Lemon Lime Twist, which I really ended up loving. But I love this already, so I love all the other four. So, which isn't bad, four out of five, you know. So this one's Sweet Sorbet. It's, um... I can't think what it's like, but it's pretty. This one is Orchid Oasis. I think this is absolutely beautiful. And finally, this is Starry Sky, which I also think is absolutely beautiful. So these are the new colours. And I also pulled out um, some of the ribbon, the in-colour ribbon. It's, um, what's it called? Metallic Woven Ribbon. And this is in uh, Orchid Oasis. So it's an eighth of an inch 
Is it clashing with my hands? <laughs> so it's they're very sparkly, very pretty. So I just thought I'd show you those if you haven't had a chance to see them. But as you can see from my desk protector, I'm going with um, more of the um, the in colours that are on the way out. So here's Dahlia Days. Nice and simple. So, um, yeah, I took one pair of glasses off, didn't put the others on. Ah, that's better. I can actually see what I'm doing. i just move that tad. And so here are the cards I'm going to make. So here's the first one. It's got some of the um, elegant faceted gems on it. Very fond of those. This is an unusual card. I mean, unusual in that it's a single piece of card. There's nothing else there. But I will, I mean, I always do put in a layer so that you can write on it even... But also, even if it's white, I'll do that because it makes it more sturdy. So in this case, you really would need to add that, which I haven't done yet because I haven't stamped on the back. I haven't numbered it because I number all my cards. So <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. It's a, I'm a, a math uh, geek, I guess. So this one will also have a, a layer. So this is what we're making. I'll just stand them up in front of me. And um, here's my prep done. So I can, oh, so I've forgotten to do the embossing, but we're okay. So for the first card, I need these. So let me open my Just Jade, which as you know is going away, um, and Magenta Madness, which I, even though it's on its way out, it um, doesn't seem to have much room today. Oh well. And the Misty Moonlight. I love this colour. I really do. So I'm really happy that they've given us um, uh, two purple, purpley blues to, uh, to fill in. So let me get my sentiment. You are beyond incredible. And the Just Jade. Don't need the spare because it's harder to stamp when you can't be over it and I can't be over it because if I were you wouldn't be able to see anything so apart from my head which wouldn't be very exciting so I'm going to get this sentiment onto its scalloped back these are from the layering scallop no, the layering circles dies, which that's a bit wonky. Uh, not much I can do about it. So we will might have to redo that later. So what are we doing? We're going to use this and it will go on the magenta madness right that's that one this one is going to go in the just jade like so and this one is the misty moonlight one and i'm just going to go up the side like so 
in order. Well, it doesn't have to be in order actually. In fact, it's probably better if it isn't, but. And magenta. And the Just Jade again. I'll have some of this kind of falling off the edge. Um, some of this also falling off the edge because it, I don't know, just, just looks good that way. And we'll have one more of that. Yep, I think I can move these out of the way now. Um, and get these out of the way. I'll just stack them up over there. Right, so this now goes on to the Just Jade card base. like so and then this would be um, popped up around you know around here somewhere probably let the pink show through but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to redo it because it's so wonky it would drive me crazy so so let us move on to this one so um, we're going to be doing heat embossing so you know that will get loud so if you're if, if you've turned me up um you might want to um turn me back down um how did i do this i think i'd remember it was only this week so i'm going to verse mark up This just gonna try and hold it down a bit. Um, so we're going to put it there. Give it a second or two. Okay, it's good. And here's the tricky bit. Because <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. It worked. Well, that was lucky. So let me cover that up. Move that over there and we'll sprinkle the white powder. Slide it down it and then just flick it on the back to get extra bits off. Uh, let me tidy this up before I turn on the heating tool because it will blow it all over the place. So. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the heating tool, which has wound itself, it's cord around the stamp and emboss machine. <laughs> I'll just give it a a few seconds to warm up and then I found that if if you hold it like this and and heat it it will warp both sides of the card so open it out and only heat that one side
There it goes. I love heat embossing. You can also heat the other side a bit. It removes some of the warp. And then this <coughs> petal pink organdy ribbon is also retiring. I mean, I hardly got any left, but uh, I really like it, so which is unusual for me to like ribbon that's this wide it's um five eighths of an inch and that's not as subtle as the way i usually use my ribbon so let's put this about there with a couple of blue dots I'm going to put it about there so cut this it didn't come out as nicely as the other one of course it didn't and I think I'll trim that a bit. Well, anyway, there we go. There's the second one. And the final one, just to remind you, is this one. This is using Bumblebee. So I got four out of five of the colors in. So that's not too bad on three cards so we'll do the sentiment that's a bit splodgy isn't it let's try that again Much better. Okay, I'll just dispose of that one and uh, bring in this little piece and this. Oh, you're probably one wondering about the pink splodge. That's because I um, I've got uh, something so I can layer them I cut it out but I didn't like how it went so I'm not showing you that today but as you can see it's it's not exactly um symmetrical so I needed the dot to tell me where which side of the uh, of the mask to put where And there's a, I'll show you. And there's a corresponding pink dot there, so I knew how to line it up. Okay, so all we have to do now is construct. Uh, this is the Ornate Floral 3D um, embossing folder. And I didn't think you needed to watch me do that, so um, I've already done it. Okay. 
put a bit of tape on the back. I was kind of worried that all this pink or red, technically. Oh, how do I get black? <laughs> Would um, smear onto the cards, but I, I washed my hands a couple of times in hot water to try and uh, fix the problem. And I think it's going to take a while. <laughs> yeah, use, use gloves, definitely. Okay, let's put that, I reckon, about there. Yep, and then I've got some dimensionals that I will add. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, no, I think I'll put another one on. I was going to try and um, not go over the other piece, but changed my mind. Okay. Sending you lots of love. So I suppose this card could be used for a number of things. And then finally, I am adding some elegant faceted gems. And um, I was using the big one. I got the wrong end out. <laughs> That's all that ink seeping into my brain, obviously. So, uh, I'm gonna put this side this time. And where else? Uh, maybe there. And, um, oh, how about there? There we go love those gems. I'm so glad they're still valid or aren't being retired, I guess I should say. So here's what we made. Here's what will be made a bit later on in about 10 minutes. And um, there you go. This is Dahlia Days. It's $23. And it's not in the next catalogue, so if you want it, you need to grab it. So, and there are still a few more pieces I haven't used, and there's a load of uh, nice sentiments, but you can't get all that on three cards. So, um, I hope you enjoyed today. Um, please share my video with your friends or with any of your groups, and. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you same time next week. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.